Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I have finally built up some courage, however small, to be able to do my first slip through with you guys today. Please be gentle on me. I'd like to start off by thanking a few people who have inspired and given me the encouragement to follow my new passion, junk journaling. The list is long, as you all know, but I wouldn't um, want to bore you with all of this. There are five particular ladies that have really inspired me the most. Um, the first being uh, Mrs. Cog. She's the first person um, whose uh, Junk Journal um, YouTube channel I watched, and um, she inspired me so much, I was able to take the very first course um, of hers, which was a teddy bear journal. Um, I went on from that and did her herbal uh, healing journal course as well and I loved it so much. Following that I bumped into um, Tracy Fox, well on YouTube that is, and um, Tracy you inspired me very much. Um, being a fellow teacher as well, um, I just love following your journey and I watched you for months before I even tried doing any of the courses. Um, three other ladies that really have inspired um, a lot of the process and sort of my own creative inspiration came from Heidi McGregor. Um, she makes the most phenomenal journals. In fact, I'm lucky enough to have one in my possession. Um, and really, I, if you haven't um, watched Heidi's channel yet, I'll try and put the link below. Please have a look at what she does. It's really some of the most amazing work I've ever seen. Um, Andrea from RT Maze, love Andrea's channel. Um, I've had so much inspiration getting involved with mixed media, all sorts of bits of using how to use junk, and I'll never look at my junk mail coming through the post again in the same way. Everything is an opportunity now. Um, and of course, Gina from Firefox um, 67 Studios, um, love Gina's work. Um, I cannot wait to watch Gina's channel every single day. So for me, those are the five people that have really made a difference. I'm not going to ramble on anymore. Um, this is the first video for me, as I said. Um, it's my French-themed journal. Um, so let's get started. First of all, um, I've used fabric for the cover, um, which is quite a thick upholstery-type fabric. Um, I really love the duck egg blue on that. Um, that's what I've used. Um, I've used a, a sari silk um, wrap around, which you can see here, just a sort of a natural colour. Um, we'll take that off. All the fibres. Um, and then if you have a look at the rest of the cover, I put another piece of fabric here, which is a French toil. Um, I've layered that up with a couple of um, pieces of printed vellum, wallpaper, um, muslin, and of course, um, an image. This image came from Pinterest. Um, little crocheted flower, some pearls, a piece of lace, and little bits of pieces of um, an Ula Shipke from Tracy. Um, Fox designs. All right, um, put some lace on the edges of the journal. This I actually avocado dyed. It was white lace, um, and as you can see, it came out in a beautiful blush pink color. Um, having a look at the inside cover, you can see I've got um, stamped image here. Uh, a few pieces of lace being layered. Again, some avocado dyed fabric. Little flower and button. A um, few bits and pieces of um, scraps that I had in my um, little scrap container. Um, here's a, one of the tags that I've made. Um, butterflies. Back them and stain them all. Um, bits and pieces from various kits, which I'll tell you about um, at the end. This actually came from my stash, um, from a old Kaiser craft embellishment and film kit. Um, so that's that one. Um, and a little 
one from my own stash. This is uh, the first page of the journal. This is from Tracy um, Fox's La La from Love Junk Journals. It's her Ula Shek kit. Love that kit. That's the basis of this kit for this journal. Just put on some vellum there. Um, inspired by Gina. Loved her Glacine um, 100 Day Challenge um, ideas. Um, stuck in a few bits of ephemera. Um, a lot of my ephemera came from the old design shop as well as Tracy's kit but I've also used um, design kits from my porch prints their French garden theme a nostalgia graphic a graphic land tailor-made um, and of course my favorite as well which is antique papery so those are just some of the others um, I have as we go along I'll explain as I best remember Here's some layering again with some papery paper. Just put various bits and bobs together. Some paper folding in lace. All the pages are tea dyed if they're not from a printed kit. Um, antique actual journal that I've put in, which I have. Another Ula Chic. Um, one of the pockets from Tracy's kit. Filled with bits of ephemera. Um, more layering there I like to decorate pages I don't like too much to be plain I have left the avocado papers plain um, because I just love the, the blush color that it come um, that results from that and I think every one of you should try that um, really fantastic colors some more pa pages from the Ula Chic kit I've just laid up two pieces of paper from that kit, laid up some bits and bobs here and put in um, a little tag. Um, some other bits and bobs. Um, and of course, okay, so you've got two pockets there really. Um, some stamping as well. More stamping, another one of the Ula Chic kit. Um, one of the pockets, which I've actually just um, added some layers to. Again, another one of my tags. These frames um, actually come from a company called Irul Amidji Shop. I'm sorry if I've said that wrong. I'm not, it's quite a um, I R A L A M I J A shop. Um, the frames come from that. The little images themselves, they actually come from tailor-made. Um, so I've just layered it up with some old fabrics. Um, and here's just another one that I made as well. So those go in there. Um, just altered a, an envelope um, with a stamp on the front and some layering. And then, of course, um, I put a bit of a family tree this is a very old item that I had when I was doing family trees um, and then just put some sort of faux pictures in like members of family tree um, just laid up some pages over there um, some old actual music sheets that I've stitched in another little envelope that I've adapted um, I don't think this one's got oh, mind you um, I have tried to make some journal jewellery. A friend of mine actually did this for me, Sam. Um, so that was lovely of her. Now this one um, opens up and you could actually write on that. Um, so that's just one of those, a clip-on. You can see there. Just layered it up with bits and pieces. Um, stamping again on the tea dyed paper. Uh, I did use this, another one of Tracy's um, design kits. I think it's um, faux ephemera, where I've just used bits and pieces, used again a bit of jewellery. Um, I lined it with another piece of paper from her kit and filled it with a bit of a few bits of ephemera, some from my kit um, and some from um, the old design shop. So I thought that went really nicely because it was. Paris theme so I've put that in there 
I'll just put those back in there. Sort that out. Um, again, another tag that I've made. I do like my tag. This is based on what um, Andrea was doing one day, um, and she inspired me to layer up and use a whole lot of different mixed medias, bits of scraps and pieces, and I just put them all together there. Another bit of ephemera. That's just the middle of the first signature. Oh, I did forget to tell you, um, the book does have two signatures. Um, it ha it measures nine inches by uh, six and a half inches, and it has a two inch spine. Um, I'm not sure the number of pages. Um, I'll put that in the um, description box at the end. Just a bit of stamping and collaging of various bits and pieces. Um, Another page that I've done there. Again, piece of jewellery, modified envelope, um, which I've embossed. Another one of Tracy's pockets, um, three bits of ephemera. Go in there. Um, this Gina did one day on her hundred day challenge. Love that Gina. Um, She's a great teacher. She should definitely go and see what she has to teach us. Lots and lots I've learned from Gina. Um, layered up this piece of paper onto a blank piece of tea dye paper. Um, that's the other side of the envelope. Um, I've put postcards on that. Um, a postcard in there. And I've just layered up and put a, a picture um, this one comes from Nostal Geographic Land. Um, another envelope I've made using bits of my old vintage ledger. Um, I've actually tried to make this into a bit of a patchwork um, quilt type effort there with some of my scraps and layered it up with bits and pieces. Put it onto a paper clip with some sari. Another image there of a bluebird I thought went quite well. Um, one of Tracy's gorgeous images that I've cut out and inked up. Um, here's one of my envelopes again. Um, another piece of jewellery. More. Um, I've used this image as a tuck spot. Um, just two pieces of ephemera which I've cut out and put in as well. Love the blues. Sorry, that's my dog whining. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen the or have the new Tim Holtz crochet Sizzix die cuts. I've really enjoyed using those um, with other bits and pieces, so uh, you will see quite a bit of that. Um, one moment, please. Um, and then I've just layered some layers of paper there, more paper there. And that's the end of the first signature with a beautiful image of Tracy Fox from her kit. Um, this is the start of the second one. You can see it's got a um, hidden spine. So I've tried to use some material to hide the middle bit there and make it look more vintagey. Another two of my tags. Um, a bit on the pockets made out of piece of vintage lace which I avocado dyed and again um, some calico that I've stamped on. Another one of um, Gina's lovely altered glassine bags. Um, it has a, a front pocket there with some bits of ephemera which I've aged up. And those go in the front. And then, of course, there's a bit at the back where I've tucked in another bit of ephemera there. Um, some good French cockerels. Um, 
another vintage bit and you can see I've edged the, the page there with some stamping. Um, here's a glassine bag I've put in here. It's got um, a little bit of a tuck spot there where you could tuck something in. Um, I have filled it with a couple of old um, Project Life cards. You can write on the back of those um, and put an image on the front here. Love the crunchy paper. Some stamping, some layers again. Um, another one of Tracy's beautiful pockets. Love this pink. I do love my pastels, I must say. Um, butterfly laid up there again. Um, and another piece of ephemera there. Whoops. More edging. Another postcard that I postcard um, envelope that I've made. Gosh, you don't half forget your words when you're doing this. Um, bits and pieces that I've laid up there. Try to make the patchwork quilt again. Um, kept on the page with a little piece of jewelry made by the lovely Sam. Um, just tucked in a little vellum envelope with a little note in it. Um, here's another one of Gina's inspirations. Um, got some ephemera in here and a flip up over there where you can um, write some notes in that little envelope which comes from Tracy's kit. And of course a bit of stamping. One of Tracy's pages. Oh, just make sure I'm in frame. A um, little bit of decoupaging there. Another one of my tags. And a bit of ephemera from Tracy's kit. This is one of her pockets I've made up. Um, middle of the signature. Um, another one of Tracy's um, kits that I've used. Um, faux ephemera. Layered it up with a couple of bits of um, ephemera here, a map, um, and some of these others. And of course, that comes from Tracy's kit, and I thought it worked really nicely with this. Um, these frames actually I got from um, Wilco. So if you live in the UK, where I am, I know it doesn't sound like it, but I do. Um, these were a great buy for, I think I paid £2 for it at Wilco and you get 10 in there and they're really lovely. Um, so I thought that worked well there. Some pages for journaling. Um, a vellum envelope that I've made um, with front and back image. Okay. There we go. Some more layer, um, a bit of paper layering there and inking. Um, here's a little tuck spot using a piece of ephemera from Tracy's kit, and I've just embossed a, a little bit of ephemera that I had. Pocket with some layering, another tag that I've made. Mm. Another bit of ephemera there, um, a page, there's one of those, a little bit of slow stitching, trying to be brave, um, some layering for the page down there, and um, that's a piece of wallpaper that I have on a roll, sorry I bumped the camera, um, I've just used that with a piece of ephemera in there. Um, another Project Life journal card which you can write on and a little teacup image. Um, here's another one of the beautiful pink pages. Um, I've decoupaged on this. This is actually from Tracy's kit. Um, just put a, um, altered one of the tags from her kit. Here's another piece of the ephemera. Um, from that kit and then just a piece of my own from 
printer. Uh, that's the other side of the glassine bag. It's got another piece of ephemera in there. Um, and just sewn some images and glued some on there. Another piece of the other side of the avocado paper, which I've just stamped. Um, done some slow stitching with pieces of journal and various bits from the Sizzik die. Tracy's pages. Um, stamping, gluing. Um, here's a pocket, uh, or maybe a tuck spot really, that I've just used with one of her pages from that kit. Um, put in some pieces of ephemera in there. Um, and then that's almost the last two pages. This is from her kit. And that beautiful image, which I love, on the back page. Here's the inside cover, um, final one of my tags there, oh dear, um, one of her, uh, this is one of Tracy's faux um, cigarette or tea cards I think, just used some various bits and pieces that I've mixed media and gessoed etc, sewn on the back there, go into a fabric pocket with some slow stitching and some stamping onto some muslin with a little bit of layering. So that's everything for that journal there. So it is a quite a chunky monkey. Quite a few pages in there which I will put down in the description. Um, I'm going to offer this journal up for, for sale. Um, if you would like it please contact me um, via Instagram or via um, yeah, Instagram's probably the best. Until such time as I've got my Etsy sorted out. Um, yes, and that's it. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to ask me. Um, please leave a comment in the comments box. Like the video and subscribe to my channel and hopefully we'll see a lot more of you. Thank you very much. Bye.